Welcome to You Brew Kombucha. Today we're gonna talk about whether it's possible to over ferment your kombucha. So a lot of home brewers ask me if it's possible to over ferment your kombucha or what do I do if I have forgotten a batch of kombucha that I brewed and it's just been sitting there and now it's super acidic, is it spoiled? What can I do with it? Is it possible to over ferment your kombucha? And to that I will say that Yes, it is possible to over ferment your kombucha, um, but but the definition of over ferment really is just dependent on your taste preferences. The longer that a kombucha brew ferments, the more acidic it gets. So kombucha is essentially a vinegar ferment. So over time, the longer you let your brew ferment, the more acidic it gets. So if it's gotten to a point where it tastes too acidic for you to drink, then yes, that would technically be classified as over fermented, but that over fermentation doesn't mean that it's spoiled, it doesn't mean that it's undrinkable, it doesn't mean that it's bad for you in any way. In fact, that super strong acidic liquid is actually perfect to use as starter tea for your next batch of kombucha. So if time got away from you or life just got busy and you had a batch of kombucha that you just forgot about, don't worry about it. If you want to get started brewing again, just go ahead and use this liquid and follow the recipe for brewing a batch of first fermentation kombucha that I outline on my YouTube channel or on my website and go ahead and just follow those steps using this liquid as the starter tea. So this liquid, if it's super acidic, will be perfect for kickstarting fermentation in a fresh batch of kombucha. Now, if you find that you don't wanna let this liquid go to waste, you don't have to throw it away. If you have a SCOBY hotel, you can definitely just add this liquid to an existing SCOBY hotel. A SCOBY hotel is basically just a receptacle where you keep your extra scobies or your extra pellicles. Just use this liquid as extra starter tea that you can use as backup so that you can either share it with a friend who wants to brew kombucha or just have some extra starter tea as backup for your own batches. It definitely does not need to go to waste. Now, if you're in a hurry and you realize, oh my gosh, I've over fermented this gallon of kombucha, but I really need to drink kombucha as soon as possible and I want it now, then in that case, what you could do is just take the very acidic kombucha that has been over fermented technically, and you can go ahead and dilute it with a batch of sweet tea. So you can really dilute it with any kind of tea that you want. I prefer black tea for kombucha. So just make a batch of sweet black tea Make sure that it is room temperature, and then go ahead and just mix it in with the super acidic kombucha liquid. And now at that step, you can either go one of two options. You can just drink it as is if you like the taste of plain kombucha and if you don't want to carbonate it, it's totally drinkable at that point. Diluting it with sweet tea just makes it a little bit more palatable so that you're not drinking straight up vinegar. But at that point, if you do want to flavor it or make a carbonated product for second fermentation, then I would recommend letting that diluted mix of half super strong kombucha tea and half fresh sweet black tea. Just let that hang out at room temperature for a few days before bottling and moving on to the second fermentation stage at that point. So that is basically an accelerated version of first fermentation because there's a high volume of super acidic finished fermented kombucha that you're now diluting with a fresh batch of sweet tea. Uh, and because there is so much of that acidic liquid, it will ferment the fresh sweet tea a lot faster than if you had just used a couple of cups of acidic starter tea for a larger gallon batch of kombucha, for example. So at that point, you can just follow the normal procedure for, bot for flavoring and bottling for second fermentation. And that way the over fermented liquid never has to go to waste. I will also say, like I mentioned earlier, kombucha is a vinegar ferment. And so if you have a bunch of extra vinegary tasting liquid, you can use it really in any application that calls for vinegar. So whether that's in a marinade or if you like making vinegar shrubs or you can use it as a cleaning product, really wherever you find use for vinegar, if you like the taste of the product, but it's just a little too acidic, you can just substitute kombucha vinegar for any other type of vinegar that you might use in your house. And so I actually have these two brewing vessels in front of me just to show a comparison of one that is a fresher batch of kombucha. So this is a batch of kombucha that I brewed about a week ago. It's been fermenting for about a week. And so you can see how the color is a lot deeper and, and richer than this batch of kombucha, which has been fermenting for about two, two and a half months. Um, 
same ingredients, same type of tea, same brand of tea, uh, same amount of sugar. The only difference is the fermentation time. And as you can see, the longer that a batch has been fermenting, the lighter in color it gets. And so this is one of those batches that I actually, I fully intended to bottle and flavor it and drink it. And I just lost track of time and I just, honestly forgot about it. And so it is very acidic now, I imagine, because it's been fermenting for two and a half months. But at this point, I just to taste it, again, it isn't harmful for you. It's basically just vinegar. And the only uh, criteria that I have for whether something is over fermented is really just taste preference. But you can just taste it and see the level of tartness. And that's pretty tart. It's pretty vinegary. So. This is a good example of a brew that I would then use this liquid as starter tea to make a fresh batch of kombucha, or I would just throw this whole thing in my SCOBY hotel and save it for a future brew, or I would just use it in any other application of vinegar that I usually use in my kitchen. So salad dressings, marinades, cleaning products, but none of it ever has to go to waste, even if it is over fermented. So I hope that was helpful. If you wanna explore other kombucha topics, definitely take a look at the other videos on my channel. And as always, you can find more details, in-depth guides, links to my favorite brewing materials, and a link to buy a copy of my book, The Kombucha Crafter's Logbook, at my website, youbrewkombucha.com. Happy brewing.